Hi, and welcome to episode number two of The Adventures of Dr. Carla and Mick. Hi, I'm Dr. Carla Cunningham. I own Rivers Edge Veterinary Hospital in Metropolis, Illinois. And this is Professor Minerva McGonagall. Uh, we just call her Mick. Um, she is a 10-week-old giant schnauzer. We got her on Saturday. And uh, we talked the other night a little bit about how and what to feed your puppy. And tonight, we're going to talk about a question that we get asked a lot is, I'm not having very good luck potty training my puppy. What, what should I do differently? So tonight, we're going to talk about that. So potty training. The key to potty training is having a few simple rules and being very, very consistent. Just like when you're potty training uh, your children or your grandchildren, if you are consistent and you have a few simple rules, they figure it out pretty fast. And so do, so do puppies. So the first rule is to use the same spot to go potty every time um, and to reward them when they do that. So you wanna pick a spot that's convenient and easy and um, some place that you can get to. Um, it's raining tonight. She went right outside and pottied in her spot even though it was raining. So I were very blessed that she's not afraid of the water. Um, so pick that same spot. The key is to try to find, is to reward them for going in the right place. Uh, trying to reprimand them or correct them when they go in the wrong place is really kind of the wrong way to go about it because there's hundreds and thousands of places where you don't want them to go. So pick that one place that you do want to go and really focus on that. The second thing is to feed them meals. Don't let the food sit out all day long because the way the GI tract works when you eat consistently, you have a bowel movement pretty consistently. So if you get them eating meals, I would recommend putting the food down for about 20 minutes. And then what they eat in that time, great. What they don't eat, pick it up. And you can offer it again in like six to eight hours. I think that um, puppies can be fed, you know, especially before four months of age, easily three to four times a day. Um, adult dogs can be fed once or twice a day but puppies can be fed more than that especially big girls like her because she's got a big appetite so but give them access to food for 20 minutes and then pick it up they'll soon figure out that they need to eat at, all at once and at the same time the third thing is to really praise and reward when they do the right thing right so um at first, always take a little food treat out there, whether that's a little lean treat or a hot dog, a little piece of hot dog, doesn't have to be very much. And every time they go in the right place, give them that reward. After they start getting the hang of it, then only give that reward intermittently because they don't, you don't want them to come to expect it every time because then they'll start asking to go out when they don't even need to go out because they want the treat. They're that smart. Um, the fourth thing is to use a crate. Um, we're gonna have a whole separate episode on crate training by itself because we get a lot of questions about that. But crate training is fantastic. Think about the crate just like you would a playpen or a crib. It keeps them out of trouble. It, um, it's not a punishment. It's not doggy jail. It's just a place to keep them safe and out of trouble. So crate training is really important. And then um, one technique that I tell people to use a lot is to take a long leash and this one I took two leashes and put them together and then I put this on Mick and when we're you know all in the family room and paying attention we want her to not necessarily be in the crate but we're gonna let her go walk around are you gonna go walk around yes thank you but when she walks around with this in it makes her a little bit longer so if she's like maybe going behind the couch or someplace where she's decided she might want to go potty inside and you you know it doesn't take her very long to get around the corner but she's dragging this leash beside her and you can catch him. So come back here, girl. Whoops, come on, come here. Come on, Mick. Uh-uh, she's looking at the cat. Come here, good girl. Okay, so the leash is a nice little uh, technique that you can use. Um, and then be consistent, 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 consistent. Do the same thing over and over again and they will figure it out. If you keep changing the rules, they're not gonna know what you want them to do. Um, so I think that's enough for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, join us again for our next episode of The Adventures of Dr. Carla and Mick. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll, be, you'll find out when the next one will be. Have a great night. Bye.